The next step that we have to look at is deletion. When we're looking at deletion, we're actually going to use the same deletion methods that we did with the binary search tree. If we have this four, for example, that we're going to delete, basically move its child up into its place. If we are going to delete a, something like this five here, what we're going to do is we're going to find the next smallest or the next largest, and we're going to copy that into the node. So in this example, the four would move up, and we would want to take this three, this, which is the four's subtree, and move it up into the four's place. Now, notice that either way, we're dealing with one child moving up into its parent's place. Both of these are tree shifts of the child into its parent's place, regardless of whether or not there were two nodes being dealt with or one being dealt with. So that's where we have to worry about it with the red-black tree. Some more Wikipedia terminology. The idea is like, OK, let's take this thing that we're about to delete, M, and it has a child C. C is the, the tree that's going to be moving into M's place. So when we're looking at coloring, if we have a red node M and C is a black child, we basically just move C up. Because if we delete a red node out of a tree, that doesn't mess with any of the counts that we're dealing with going from the root to the leaves. In a similar fashion, if M is black and C is red, what we can just do is take C and move it into M spot and make C a black node. Because once again, we're not messing with any of the counts when we delete a red node. So here's the problem. Let's say that M is black and C is black. C is going to move up into M's place, but we've actually lost uh, one count down that uh, branch for the black nodes. So that's what we got to worry about. So in all of these uh, cases we're about to look at, when we're talking about N, N is going to be the node that we just replaced. So in the example, C gets moved into M's place, and now that thing is called N in all of these cases we're about to deal with. Let's say that N is the new root. So basically, one's about to be deleted, two moves into its spots. We're actually done. That's all there was to it. Because now, if we are deleting a black node, it moves into the root. It hasn't changed anything. So now let's look at case two. So this is the node we're looking at. We go over to its sibling, and it's red. What we're going to do is we're going to rotate the sibling through the parent and switch the parent and the sibling's colors. So this becomes red, this becomes black. So this tree rotation has occurred. The sibling goes up, the parent comes down, and the sibling's left, that used to be down here, becomes the parent's, or on this tree, the sibling's right becomes the parent's child. Now we need to try case three on the node to see if anything has changed, because there may be more repairs we need to create. So case three is where the sibling is black. We color S red, but then we need to call case one on the parent, because there may be more repairs up the tree that we need to do. So this is a recursive call. Now, if S, the sibling wasn't black in the first place, we just proceed on to case four. So case four is the parent is red, the sibling and, all of its, and both of its children are black. What we're going to do is we're going to color the parent black and the sibling red. And if this wasn't the case, that we weren't in this situation for case four, we're going to proceed on to case five. If we did this change, we're actually done. Case five is a strange one. Basically, from the parent, if you go down the left branch, they're both black, but the right child of the sibling is red. Or in this version, the sibling and the sibling's right are black, and the left is red. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate siblings right through the sibling on this tree and rotate siblings left through the sibling on this one. So it actually kind of creates this chain down the side. The other thing we do is we set uh, the siblings right to black and the sibling to red, and vice versa on the side where it's siblings left becomes black and sibling becomes red. So we're changing the coloring. If we were not in this particular situation, we move on to case six. So in this situation, we have our node. The parent's color actually doesn't matter, which is why it's colored white here. We have the sibling. Its left is red, or on this sibling, the sibling's right is red. We rotate through the parent and switch the parent's colors with the sibling. So what that means is that the parent becomes black, and the sibling takes on whatever color the parent was. 